YouTube team, keep it clean. I hope y'all doing really, really good. And I'm, I'm sure your November 9th is going better than Kenyon Drake's November 8th. Because after his rushing performance against the Saints, after him actually being the leading rusher for the Baltimore Ravens instead of Lamar Jackson, I think that's what really took the NFL off. They were like, hold up. We, we can't push our narrative like we want to. But anyway, after Kenyon Drake's performance against New Orleans, NFL sent him a random... Drug test. They say, hold up, buddy. You looking like you still got the juice. Are you juicing? Uh, but I'm sure King and Drake, he will pass that test with flying colors. And, and shout out to him, by the way, because early on when the Ravens first picked him up uh, this offseason, um, that probably should have been a, a sign to us that JK wasn't going to be ready right away. Also, the same way when they picked up Mike Davis, that should have been a sign to us that Gus wasn't going to be ready uh, right away. But anyway, uh, when they first picked him up, I was like, oh, okay, cool. And when we first saw him running with the Ravens, I was like, oh, okay, well. Uh, but then as the season went along, he's looked better and better and better uh, and a lot more comfortable. So things have been on the up and up with Ken Drake. And that has been a worthwhile, uh, small, short-term investment with the Ravens signing him. Now, another signing that almost wasn't a signing. Uh, the Ravens. <laughs> <laughs> like they almost like uh, held him hostage because I remember there was some like weird deal, some weird thing that they did with Justin Houston to where he would either play for the Ravens or play for nobody. Um, it obviously wasn't a franchise tag. I forgot exactly what it was, um, but they got him at this reduced rate. Uh, and he talked about it post game uh, of the Saints game. He said he was thinking about retiring. He said he was thinking about retiring, was thinking about calling it quits. Uh, but I think everybody, him included, but definitely Ravens and Ravens fans, we were like, thank goodness you did not retire. Because without Justin Houston, ooh, I don't know what this pass rush would be. I don't know what it would be. Uh, but thank goodness that Justin Houston is still uh, here. Uh, and he's certainly been making his mark whenever he's played for the Ravens this year. And after his third game in a row, third game in a row with double digit sacks. That's crazy. That, that's crazy. That boy Justin Houston been going off, man. But after his third game in a row with double digit sacks, he got two and a half sacks. Um, and then he got like he he's just man, he's just making plays, man. Even got the pick. Shout out to Brent Urban, by the way. Y'all remember Brent Urban? When, when Brent Urban swatted that ball, Justin Houston picked it off. Just Brent Urban was like, yeah. I was so happy for Brent Urban because you could tell Brent Urban was so happy. That boy was celebrating like they had just won a Super Bowl. Hey, hopefully we get to see Brent Urban do that again in February or March, whenever the Super Bowl is this year. Um, but Justin Houston, he ended up winning the AFC Defensive player of the week And I mean I think everybody expected that after his performance Like it, the man was crazy I, I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up getting a drug test too It won't be no shocker But anyway shout out to Justin Houston Because the Ravens have needed him like crazy And now they, uh, they got Bowser back officially since he played David Ajabo should be making his debut very, very soon. So, yeah, man, things are, things are trending in the right direction. And then Marcus Williams, he should be back soon as well, they said in December. But the Ravens, somebody who they also got back, they don't have to wait for him anymore, is Charlie Collar. Uh, I always forget how to pronounce, pronounce his last name. Uh, whether it's Collar, like, Polar, like I think about Polar Express and Collar Express. But anyway, uh, Charlie Collar or Kolar, I think it's Collar though. But anyway, Ravens are getting their rookie tight end. Now, I remember when, um, when it was said that he first started practicing again. Um, I, I remember I was thinking like, man, okay, Ravens right now got Mark Andrews, got Isaiah Likely, got Nick Boyle, got Josh Oliver. And I was even surprised that they kept all four of them on the roster because I thought, like, nah, they only going to keep, like, three tight ends. Yeah, they keep, like, three of them, but nope, they kept four. So I was like, oh, okay. But then when um, it was said that Charlie Collar, when he first started practicing again after being taken off of uh, injured reserve, um, I was like, ooh, okay. 
So they they'll probably put Nick Boyle on IR. Probably put him on injury reserve and uh that'll end his season. I mean, they ain't really been using him like that anyway. Um he just I mean, he been on special teams here and there. Like even in the Saints game, he was out there for a couple of snaps here and there, but nah, they nah. Nick Boyle, nah, yeah, they they're gonna put him on IR. But now it's like I could really see them keeping five tight ends on the roster. Because it's the Ravens. You know, right? like, again, it's always said when all these other teams well, zag, the Ravens are zigging. They like to do things their own way. So I could definitely see them keeping all five tight ends on the roster. A spot opened up with the Ravens putting Rashad Bateman on injury reserve. And I think even before that, um, oh, no, 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 no. I was about to say I think they had an open spot. But they I, they had two open spots. But I think Tyus Bowser... And Ajabo, they took those two open spots that the Ravens had. Um, so I think they were right at 53. So Rashad Bateman out, uh, Charlie Collar up. Um, and you know, like, man, like, Ravens' offensive coordinator is Greg Roman. Ravens' passing offense, it favors the tight ends. It's been that way for a long time. Um, so I could see a scenario. I could see a play. Where and I can see games where the Ravens have all five active. Because it's the Ravens. It's the Baltimore Ravens. And I can see a scenario where they have all, all of them. Actually, six. Where they have Mark Andrews, Isaiah Likely, Josh Oliver, Charlie Collar, and um, Nick Boyle all on the field at the same time. And then six, Pat Ricard, too. Because you know Pat Ricard don't come off the field for nothing. I can see I can see plays where they got all of them out there. They'll find a way. They would. So um, look out for that because you know it, it's on the way with the Ravens because they 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 love it. They they love just trying some different stuff like that, some sort of innovative tight end centric stuff like that. It's it's coming. So be be on the lookout for it. Uh, but anyway, uh, it, it's good news to have him back because you get yet another tight end um, in the mix. Uh, but the Ravens are getting healthier, so that's that's a good thing. Obviously, got some guys that are that their seasons got ended uh, prematurely. Michael Pierce, um, Kyle Fuller, uh, Stephen Means. Um, but you also got guys that are injured right now. Uh, but they are. Oh yeah, Jawan James too. Uh, but you also got guys that are injured. But they. Oh, and Rashad Bateman too. Man, he's done for the year as well. Uh, but you also got guys that are injured that are coming back, like a Gus Edwards, like a J.K. Dobbins. You got Ronnie Stanley back. Um, <laughs> Deshaun Jackson with that hamstring, boy, you like, man, I fell for him, man. Cause it, but it was not a surprise. Like, you call up a 35-year-old wide receiver who hadn't been playing in the longest, and you, you got him running these goal routes, you got him stretching that field, he was bound to stretch a hamstring, too. So when when that when that when he got uh when he got taken out of the game and they was like oh he's questionable to return with a hamstring I said he ain't questionable man that question is already answered he ain't coming back in this game um but Harbaugh said he should be back next week I mean well not next week but the week after next for the Panthers game and uh JPP should be straight too so yeah man anyway I love y'all team keep it clean I appreciate y'all so much um this this is gonna be a fun fun little bye week man I'm glad the bye week is here. Um, cause stuff, stuff just be getting crazy, man. Um, and I, I, I just love this little break. I love this, this, I love it slowing down a bit. Uh, but we still gonna have a good time on here. I love y'all team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. And just like Charlie Carla is no longer, I'm out.